So over the past year, the zombie apocalypse game known as Project Zomboid has been blowing up with its constant updates and newest update add in the multiplayer mode, allowing you to either play with friends or sabotaging scumbags. The game's player base literally exploded with the most recent update, bringing the player base from a couple thousand up to a couple tens of thousand. I'm pretty sure that's not how you say it, but fuck it. So this leaves a question on many players' minds, both new players and returning. Is Project Zomboid worth playing? So as one who likes to play video games and then talk about them, and seeing as I've been spending quite a bit of time returning to this game, as I've had it for about a year, but only recently have I actually gotten into it, I decided to put together a lot of a points that I think would have got me into the game a lot sooner than, you know, just within the past month. So maybe this video will either make you want to buy the game yourself or end up playing it again as it's probably been on your back burner for a bit now. If you like the video remember to leave a like, comment, and then check out the channel for more content to help me survive in real life. Alright that ad revenue is nice but it isn't that nice guys we gotta get this shit up. Firstly Project Zomboid is a pretty difficult to explain game but I'll do so briefly. In this game, you create a character who will be your survivor. You will control them in the entire world. You have four maps to choose from as a spawn point, as well as some pretty in-depth character traits, both negative and positive. While the maps mostly stay consistent, a lot of games loot and things you need to find are randomly dispersed in the world at appropriate locations. You'll be completely on your own, so if you want to find some food, well, you better go hit up a grocery store. Want to find some weapons? Maybe a tool store or a gun store. And while you may start the game with running water and electricity, as the weeks go on, both will end up turning off, so you'll want to prepare for this tragedy by setting up a base. Base building is a huge part about Project Zomboid, and one of the things I like a lot in a lot of video games. You can either build your own base from scratch, or set it up by barricading an already existing building and expanding on it. In order to survive on the long term, you're going to need to get a lot of things figured out on your base, like how you're going to be farming crops for food, because you're probably going to end up looting every house there is in the game. When the taps go dry, what are you going to do for water? I mean, even if you do collect water outside, you still need to heat up that water, and without electricity, you gotta figure all this stuff out. There will be a winter to prepare for, which is a lot harder than the normal seasons of the game. And essentially, your goal is just going to be to survive. How you do this, it's gonna be completely up to you. But only players that plan ahead and use the world to the best of its capabilities will be able to even last over a month in-game. Now, if you're wondering how hard Project Zomboid is, it very much varies. At a basic difficulty, it's pretty hard. I played for about 15 hours before I had a character that lasted for even a week straight. On top of that, once I did reach that week, there's a helicopter event which brings a bunch of zombies to your location. So getting over that hill of a challenge is an accomplishment in itself. And while killing zombies and finding loot is pretty straightforward and fun, the game's difficulty very much depends on how much you know about the game. You'll be learning a lot through trial and error, and only like that will you end up getting better. Like, I'm not kidding, it's a very brutal experience, very similar to other roguelike games. Your first playthroughs, they probably are going to be garbage. You're going to have to learn all about the world's ins and outs, like how cars and house alarms work, an easy way to fuck up your entire neighborhood. And once the game does become sort of like a walk in a park and you feel like you've got a grasp of what you're doing and know how to survive, you'll probably get carefree, and then being careless, you're gonna end up getting eaten by a zombie. All it takes is just one bite from a zombie, and your character over the span of the next few days will go through the slow, decaying process of turning into a zombie, while all you can do is wait for death and think about how you were dumb. One of the things I really like about Project Zomboid though, is that there's a whole lot of advanced options you can tweak before you start your game, allowing you to customize it to however you see fit. You can either make the game a lot easier or a lot harder, or just change up the general playstyle of the game and how things will go. For my first few playthroughs, I played the game without zombies respawning, as there's quite a bit of zombies in the world as is, and you're going to constantly have different hordes of zombies moving across the map, so it didn't ever seem like the zombies were completely taken care of, since they just wandered into different zones around the map that I've already cleared, but it was quite nice to be able to clear out a neighborhood or store and then know that the dangers around that area were at least gone and it was going to be a bit more of a safe world. That setting just made the game feel a little bit more realistic and a lot easier for a new player like myself to get into. Vehicles are a huge part of the game as well. You'll be searching all over the world for different vehicle parts, gas to fuel the vehicle, 
the fucking vehicle itself, seeming as 95% of all motor vehicles are just completely useless in Project Zomboid. Like, I don't know what happened, but somebody shot up, like, fucking every car in this game and then rammed another car into it. So most of the cars you find are going to be useless or without gas. If you're unlucky like me, you'll probably just pick the first Ricky Mobile you find off the street and then end up having to drive that thing around as you try to find the materials to fix the old lemon. There's so many different things in this game, and even after 50 hours of gameplay, I can guarantee you this is one of the games where you put 50 hours in and you've basically not even touch the surface of what's possible yet. My first playthrough that I was semi-proud of lasted a whole 28 days, and this was about a 12-hour play session in different sessions, of course. But if it took me 12 hours to last just a day 28, it's probably going to take me nearly 50 hours just to survive 4 months in the game considering I don't die or have to restart on a new playthrough. Even if you survive for a full year and then die after sometimes, it's going to be hard not to restart the game as the thrill of setting yourself up for success is addicting itself. Never mind the mindless amounts of fun that the game offers from fighting zombies and making the world truly yours. With each playthrough, you're only going to get better, so of course it's going to become an addicting game and one with a lot of replayability. And on top of that, what if you do actually get bored of the things in the game? Well, one of my favorite reasons to play any game, of course, is if the game has mods. And let me tell you, there's countless community creations being created for Project Zomboid, such as maps, items, guns, new playstyles which change the game's difficulty or how it's played. You got a lot of awesome options for this game and different mods that'll make it even more realistic or just tweak it to your ideal version of the game. There's lots of cool stuff, like I don't like how in the current game, if you're outside in the rain, then the rain doesn't wash your character or your clothes at all. Well, you can change that with a mod, of course. Another thing is maybe you feel like the world is too lonely or you want to switch it up a bit and have some NPCs in the game. So, go ahead and do that. Add some NPCs and people that you can recruit into your survivor group. Or you can just fight them. I mean, it is your world in Product Zomboid, and there's probably going to be a mod to make it happen. And of course, I wouldn't be talking about everything with the game if I didn't talk about the content and videos made for Project Zomboid. I've been spending quite a bit of time watching lots of different videos, and let me just tell you, they're all pretty shit. <laughs> I'm, pl I'm playing, I'm, I'm playing, of course. The uh, videos are really good at the moment. There's lots of big and small creators covering the game, and they've been doing it for years so there's plenty of stuff to watch when you gotta open a can of beans in real life and end up relaxing. There's also a great amount of guides and useful tips and tricks videos to help you get started in a game. It's really up to you whether you need to watch these or seek outside information. You can, for the most part, play the game with no knowledge and learn everything yourself, but if you do feel stuck in a game or not quite sure what to do, there's gonna be plenty of ways for you to pick up inspiration by watching a few YouTube videos on the game. Sort of like what you're doing right now. So how do you like that video section? Subscribe to the channel, Cool Kid Croc. But lastly, with the game's price, for it going on sale and being less than 20 bucks, this is a fucking steal. Like, there's no doubt with Product Zomboid, you're gonna get more than your money's worth. I know some of my personal friends have been playing for hundreds and some for thousands of hours, and a lot of the community is like this. That's why I definitely recommend Product Zomboid 10 out of 10. If you like any of the other games on my channel, or any type of survival games, zombie games especially, Project Zomboid's really gonna hit that sweet spot. There might be a lot of zombie games, but a lot of them aren't really good. This is one of a few zombie games I've actually found to be better than most other games. I've played. Either way, if a multiplayer update alone and tens of thousands of players rushing into the game to play it didn't convince you enough to try it, then hopefully this video did. If it did make you want to play Project Zomboid, then I probably did my job right, so leave a like or something, you know, some feedback and stuff. If you didn't want to play it after my video, then there's probably just something wrong with you. Like, <laughs> what the fuck are you going to do? Dislike the video? It took that away. You can just sit there and mope. Or if you want to help me out, go to my comment section and leave a huge, gnarly, crazy comment. Boost my engagement. Either way, though, I want to thank you all for watching this video and have fun trying not to die in Project Zomboid. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.